StockViews.com, the community for serious investors. Calculating balance sheet ratios. This lesson follows on from the previous lesson, how to read a balance sheet. If you haven't already done so, we would suggest going back now and watching that one first. In the previous lesson, we looked at book value, which is equivalent to total shareholders' equity. In the case of Hershey, we can see that the book value is 1608 million. Dividing the book value by the number of shares outstanding gives us a figure for the book value per share, which works out at $7.25. We can then compare the book value per share to the prevailing market price of $99.50. This gives us the price to book value ratio of 13.7 times. Certainly, we can see that Hershey is not a stock where the price is supported by the book value. The high figure here suggests that Hershey is either very expensive as a stock or a company that is likely earning a very high return on capital. Net debt is another simple metric that can be calculated from the balance sheet. It's calculated as a total interest bearing debt, both long term and short term minus cash and cash equivalents. In the case of Hershey, we see that net debt comes out at 1983 million. Analysts will typically compare net debt to equity. For equity, we take the book value of shareholders' equity, which as we saw previously, is 1608 million, and the ratio we see comes out at 123%. While this is not a low figure exactly, it's not particularly high either, and in itself it's not cause for concern. We would need to know more about the stability of the business and the nature of the debt before passing judgment on this. Another ratio that's useful to calculate here is net debt to EBITDA. This compares the level of debt to the approximate cash flow available to cover that debt. To calculate the figure here, we're using EBITDA for the trailing 12-month period. Again, 1.27 is not a figure that should raise red flags in itself. If this figure were coming out at more than three, then that would certainly warrant further investigation and could be cause for concern. Moving on to the current ratio, the current ratio is equal to the current assets divided by the current liabilities. It gives a sense for how comfortably a company is able to cover its short-term liabilities. In the case of Hershey, we see this comes out at just over one. There's no standard definition of what a safe current ratio is, and it may vary from one industry to another and from one company to another. However, a ratio of under one would probably warrant further investigation. Why don't you now show us what you've learned on the StockViews platform? You can contribute your own stock analysis and opinions, and you can interact with like-minded investors. In the next lesson, we're going to take a look at how to extract invested capital from the balance sheet. Thanks for watching. StockViews.com, the community for serious investors.